Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial. So as you may notice, instead of me doing the normal, usual, like crazy editing type of thing I normally do for videos, I'm going to give you a life guide for this one. This one is going to be titled The Lazy Man's Guide to Better Shipments. So let's get started. Alrighty, so let's see. Well, first things first, we'll go over modules just quickly to overview these different aspects of the trading economy. So obviously you have shipment. Drone is going to be one of the vital end game type of modules you want to really focus on. The higher the level, the better. Yes, it's a minor boost at the beginning, but as you level it up and you gain more shipment slots and also the additional percentage, it starts to actually add up quite a bit. And then on top of that, we have Shipment Beam. This is not absolutely vital, but it makes it easier and less time consuming to do shipments. So if you're feeling really lazy and don't feel like going across the entire system in order to do, you know, pick up a couple of shipments that are kind of far away and would take a little bit, then you can use this instead. There's also Offload. So I'm upgrading it at the moment. I'm, my goal is to get this to level 8 or 9 so it doesn't take off such a huge amount of, you know, credits off my shipments that I'll be delivering to a random station. I just want it to be, you know, as high as possible. But this is another method you can use uh, to reduce the amount of workload you have for any specific shipment cycle that you're going through. Now, obviously, you also have Cargo Bay Extension, which is actually, you know, a very basic module, but it's very vital because it helps you be more efficient per transport. This helps you obviously load more artifacts in red stars, and it also helps you get more relics in white stars. But as well, it also helps you get more shipments per transport to each planet. So that way you don't have to send like three transports to do one transport's job if you have a certain amount of uh, storage on each transport. That just reduces the amount of work you have to do per transport. And it also allows you to, you know, take advantage of shipment beam if you have more storage, so... Yes. Okay, now the other thing is we also have the individual transports. The more transports you have, the merrier. Obviously, once you fulfill your other requirements, like getting four battleships and getting uh, two or three miners, you can definitely invest in transports because they're going to be the most important thing later on anyway but as you see mine are each 16 tons between the actual upgrades from the transport and the shipment uh, storage module what is it actually called cargo bay extension module I will have 16 tons of cargo bay storage per transport now obviously this is quite a bit especially when you compare it to the planets it's still not ideal because I can't absorb the entire quantity of this planet's shipments, for example. But it does make it a little bit easier to deal with like planets like these and so forth. So there you go. Now, the other thing that's very important when it comes to making shipments as easy as possible when it comes to your planets and how you lay out your warplanes is you want to set it up so that the majority of shipments are all being delivered through the warp lane so that way you don't have to actually deliver them yourself by setting transports and that saves you hydrogen also by the way so miners set up a specific way this planet system gets a lot of shipments or not system sorry sector gets a lot of shipments that's why it's one of my primary hubs this one also as well gets a lot of shipments most of these planets do so that's why they're all connected to the hub to make it as easy as possible and not to mention you'll notice that all the planets toward the left here are all connected that way i don't have to send transports over there to pick up random shipments they're just you know I, I can focus on the right hemisphere of my system here so that being said let's get started with the live demo here so the first thing i do is automatically just send my shipment drones to the connected planets so in this case i'm just going to send them to i believe that's called bonia yep or bonnie we send them there, you know, it does its thing. Oh, and actually, before I even go forward, I forgot to mention the time modulator station. This is actually very handy for making things a lot quicker. The higher you can level it without breaking the bank, the better. Mine is set at 2.5 the time factor, so it cuts the time in half and then some a little bit. So it makes it all that more efficient, so I don't have to waste as much time on this cycle. So let's see. 
Fine, now that we got all those rudiments out of the way, we have your actual planets. So, you'll notice that my planets are all named, you know, actual names of, like, pretty girls that I've met in the past and so forth. And you'll also notice that they are, well, seemingly random, but if you actually look at it, you'll notice all the ones that are at the tippity top with the B through, like, K or something like that, they're all connected to the warp lanes. So, I can just go like this and pick up all those shipments and then send that transport over to my main hub that's connected to, you know, the other lanes and just leave them there so that the shipment drone picks them up and then delivers them for me so that way I don't have to do the work. And same thing here, you know, I just go like this. There's going to be a few that are not on lane, but that's fine. I'll show you what I do with those in a moment. Let me just handle these. Actually, that's... Well, I guess I can jump into it now. So this planet that I'm on right now, it's called Tamora. Or Tamora. is actually my garbage planet. This is where I shove all the shipments that aren't on lane. And that's how I keep my system organized and well kept. So that way, once this planet fills up, I just send it in. And I use shipment drone. Not shipment drone, excuse me. Shipment computer to automatically pick them up and send them to wherever they need to go for each transport. That way I don't have to think about it. And that makes it easy and hassle-free. <clears throat> so let me just speed this up a little bit, make it go a little bit faster. So yeah, you'll notice that this planet can hold 80 total shipments or 80 tons of whatever. No, actually just 80 shipments or 80 items. So yeah, for every planet you have selected or whatever planet it is, whatever the limit is, like right now it says 12 out of 24. 24 is not the actual maximum for what, how much this planet can store. 24 is just where it will stop producing shipments. You can actually put double the amount of whatever that maximum is and access shipments on the planet. So if you have 24 in this case, it'll be 48. And since this one has 40, it'll be 80. So I'm being lazy. I'm just going to pick up the shipments from here through shipping beam. Makes it nice and easy, no hassle whatsoever. This is not showing me the shipments for some reason. There we go. So we have all those shipments. Now I'm just going to collect the garbage ones that are on the planet. And I'm going to send them to this one because that's where they need to go in order for it to be very easy. Now obviously you just want to concentrate them all on one planet. The reason why is because the more shipments you put on there, the more they, the more you'll get in value per shipment, I believe from shipment computer. And as I mentioned, it just makes it easy to consolidate everything and you can see exactly how many need to be sent where. Yeah, so you'll just generally get more value out of doing shipments all together rather than doing them separately. You just get more from the shipment computer module. So I'm doing all that. This is eventually gonna fill up, so that's when I start to actually do them. Now, if you really want to be lazy, you really, really don't feel like doing shipments at all, what you can do is just have your drones do all your shipments for you, the ones that are on lane, and then just use shipment beam to beam the rest of whatever is left, which will be the ones that aren't connected to the lanes, and then just do shipping computer and all that stuff. So I will show you in a moment, but yeah, if you're feeling particularly lazy, that's what you can do in order to fulfill that laziness within you. Like we all have that feeling. Okay, so now you see that it's completely filled up and so forth. So what do you need to do here? Basically, you look at this and you're like, oh, okay, I have X amount of shipments on each station. I have 13 here and 4 here. That's enough to fill up the entire transport. So I'm just going to go like this, go like that, go like that, go like this. And then it'll just do it for me so that way I don't have to put any actual effort into doing that myself. Easy, lazy guide there. So yeah, this is pretty straightforward, guys. I just wanted to make sure you understood like a couple of the fundamentals here so you don't have a, you know, it's like, oh, that would have been good to know like ages ago. And that way you're just like, oh, okay, cool. So we can do that. We can do that. And then you have an easier time doing your own shipments because I know how much of a pain in the butt can be. So...
Okay, so you can see this planet here is pretty much devoid of all on-lane shipments. So what I can do is just simply go on this transport and beam them over. And yeah, you basically do that with every other planet that's remaining. You just beam them over if you're lazy like me. Makes it super easy and convenient. And yeah, I'm done with all my shipments, essentially. Hey guys, so before I officially end this video, I just forgot to mention that Leon made a guide for shipments some time ago. Not the craziest, amazingest thing that you will see when regarding editing, but it is actually very useful, so I'll link that in a card now. And it'll also be linked in the description, so check that out. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, guys, do the usual like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and if you didn't like it, well, you dislike it and tell me why, and yeah. Anyway, leave any questions in the comment section. So, yeah. Bye!